Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with designer Peter Jorgensen, uh, designer of Nimble, along with Julian and Carlo, who are going to help demonstrate the game after Peter tells us what to do. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Peter Jorgensen. Mm -hmm. um, Nimble, it's a speed card game where everybody is playing simultaneously and we try to get rid of our all of our cards as fast as possible. Who goes first wins. Okay. Um, do you also want to play? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I hope these stacks are shuffled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen is we are going to set out three stacks where you can play our cards on. Uh, additionally to that, we have like our, when we are playing, our personal discard pile um, where you can play. The rule is you can get a card down there if this inside color matches your outside color, which does not show up here. So there we go. Um, like this, you can always play uh, the top card of your discard pile. You can shuffle back, go forward, and so on. Okay. Um, then once you through your stack, you just pick it up, and without shuffling, just speed. Go for it. All right. Turns out here. It's another important fact about the game. Uh, if you check the cover on the front, you can easily see if you can see all the six different colors. We uh, try to include, um, make it possible for each three types of color blindness to differentiate them. You can also see all the stories we feature in the game because we want, we decided to make a game which is a speed game, but we wanted to give it some symmetrical flavor. Okay. So we put on uh, six different stories of world literature into it. So we have like Moby Dick, um, War of the Worlds, Pinocchio, um, Don Quixote, um, Alice in Wonderland, and in 80 Days Around the World. Okay. Yeah, each color features one story. Okay. We had Peter Shuffle since one of my <laughs> hands is full. I'll put this down. Oh, so we each put out one out as a yeah. pile to start. We need four? No, just three. Only it's, three. It's always, always three. Um, the strongest player plays one less than everybody else. Okay. 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 Yep. Ready, set, go. Yes, <laughs> at the moment you're playing with the three strongest players in the world. <laughs> Okay, we're done. <laughs> All right. So. Um, All right, and the designer wins. So that's, <laughs> yeah. that's that's experience talking, I guess. He's around 400 games, I think. <laughs> All right. Um, now you, we can check, like easily, um, if someone made a mistake. We just uh, flip over the stack of cards, and we put them like that, and you always see like if the color is matching. Mm -hmm. If the color is wrong, for example, we would just like reveal it and we would see who was um, responsible for it, this player would be out of the game, even if he won. Yeah. Okay. It's a very strict game. And yeah, we just play game after game, and now Peter would have won, and so we would have played one card less than us. Yes. Okay. That's the game. All right. Thank you very much for the overview. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Nimble. <laughs>